Hello everyone, Sam is here from MyFirstMagicWave.com um, Making this uh, quick video um, because we're having a, a lot of problems especially new people um, downloading these indicators what happened is that uh, on February 3rd we all know now that you know a meta code made a lot of changes in uh, MT4 platform and uh, the last version we were using was 509 but they started come up with uh, 600, then 603, 5, 6, 8, 9. But now they are at 610 already. Um, God knows when they're going to stop or maybe they stop already. But I'm going to wait before I start changing all my indicators and uh, ears and all that. Uh, but for now, we having tr uh, trouble because uh, what's happening is that as soon as you upgrade to 610, Okay, uh, what they did is they, they disloc well they changed the locations of the files. So you used to go um, in the expert folder and then from the expert we used to go in the indicator and then we download the indicators over there. Right? We save the indicators into expert and then indicator. But now they have changed it. The way you do it uh, is a little different. Okay, so I'm gonna show it um on uh, I don't know which one is using which browser, but and what you know type of window. That's another issue. But at least I'll I'll show you where in the M MT4 those files gonna go. So whichever uh, browser or window version you're using, you can just cope cope up with that. Okay, uh, that would be very easy. It's not, not a problem. So <clears throat> that, um, when I got the e, well, whoever you know gets this. Um, these indicators uh, and 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 you know the uh, you know you guys who already have downloaded in your computer somewhere right those indicators you have saved those then simply what you do just like I have my download folder if I click here then I have all of these uh, things already here okay different um, uh, folders different things and you know all those videos and everything see all the attachments so whatever you download you are you have those in CSM high low close and this and that all of those in your download uh, folder right so what you need to do is from there just open them up so let me see which we, we are um, okay well not this one I'm gonna show you the one has more no Okay, whoops, Illuminati. My friend is crazy. Uh, what's happening? Where are they? Okay. Uh, let me see. Man, I just had them. Should be this one. No, it's not. Okay, so where they go? Let me go. Maybe them. Whoops. No, these are different charts. I had them somewhere here. Okay, all right. These are the indicators and templates and all that. Okay, so now the way you see them is like you see these all four 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 these are mql files these are indicators and then some of those uh, ex4 files right and then template file you'll see it says uh, uh, something different are they there no it's not even here any template file so these are all the indicators right okay daily pivot all right, so what we need to do is just <clears throat> let's go with the indicator and then I'll show you the template. So you select all of these, okay, one by one. This is, you know, all this, whatever you need, you know, the pivot points. You you know, some people have their own. I just provide these uh, very simple and uh, accurate IBFX one. They are very common, so you can use them in other uh, brokers, actually. I just downloaded it and uh, I opened a demo. FX TD account just to um, do all this mumbo jumbo testing and downloading and see you know which way it works. <laughs> um, 
So okay, now so see all of these I uh, I highlight them and then I will select them means copy. All right, and now what we need to do is let's say uh, I'm gonna use the same FXTD uh, account just to show because I don't want to mess up my other accounts so <laughs> in testings. All right, so this is FXDD that I just open up demo account just to do these things. So when you open, let's say, use the broker um, platform, right? Then you need to go in File, and then um, here you see this Open Data Folder. So click that, and this is where it takes you. And now you see, um, before we used to go uh, in this uh, inside, uh, you know, like choose that and then uh, select your broker then uh, expert and then you know all of those but now uh, if you come here this way then you see a new folder here so it's called MQL4 right and then you have a template here so whatever the template you get you put it in here and the indicators you double click this MQL4 and then you'll see those Two are different now. Expert is here. Indicators are here. Before we used to go in expert, then you know, uh, open the expert folder, and the indicator will be inside the expert folder. But now they're separate. But they are both inside MQL4. Okay. So now you go and you double click in the indicator, and then anywhere you just paste them. Okay. So uh, he's gonna ask me to replace. Uh, we'll just skip because I already did. Okay, so all of those files I have, oops, what it did. Okay, anyway, so you see all of those files got du duplicated or whatever, uh, pivot point, the confirm, high low, this, that, all of those. So this is how you download in this folder, and that's the only way they're going to work good. See, all of these things are working fine now. All my indicators and uh, uh, let's say uh, Magic Wave uh, uh, template, you see, all these indicators are perfectly fine. Okay, 15 minute chart, uh, 5 minute chart, everything is normal, right? Pivot points and this and that, everything is, all those indicators, 200 EMAs uh, and these and indicators at the bottom. So this is how you do it, okay? I just did it, a brand new uh, a broker. I open it up, uh, same old uh, indicators in from the download. I had an old download there, sitting there. And from there, in, right in front of you, I just showed you how to do it. You just have to reopen the, the broker after uh, you download. You know that, right? So whenever you download, the first you download the indicators, then you, do, you know, uh, paste the template into the template folder. Template folder is outside the MQL folder. Okay? Let me show you one more time. Uh, you go in file. Oops, I am already here. I don't want to go. Oops. You. Okay. Uh, see, you go in file, then you go open data folder, and then you get <coughs> this, right? So if you have download, then you have download here on the computer. This is my Windows 8, so this is how I have it. I know the Windows XP, I used to have a, a big hard time <laughs> understanding that, so it's a little different. But whenever the download is, then you get the download, uh, open it up, uh, and copy those indicators, right? And then when once you open this from file, uh, open that a window, then MQL, and here's the template. So if you have the template, you'll see all of these templates I have. I just downloaded all these templates uh, from the download from here. So I posted the template into template folder, and I posted the uh, indicator into MQL. Double click there. Then you have an expert. If you want to uh, download an E or something, then you go here, expert. Okay, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about our indicators. So they go here. Double click here, and then just paste them anywhere, and they will be done. Okay. So I hope this helped. Uh, if you, like I said, if you have a different version, you might have a little bit problem, but just keep doing it and you will get it. You will get it. Okay. But this is how to do it. The only difference is that they have moved the file location. That's all. Okay. Um, there are technical uh, uh, problems, uh, but they're not affected right now, on, especially on these indicators. They are very much affecting 
is, but not the indicators. Because indicators are just like, you know, one-time posting. They don't, you know, run all the time. But EA runs all the time, so it has completely different language and different uh, criteria, and whatever the changes are, it's making a big effect on that. So anyway, this is it. Um, so uh, whenever you do the, you know, uh, upgrade to build um, 610, you're going to have to do, go through this thing, okay? Otherwise, none of these indicators will show up on the chart. All right? So uh, <clears throat> this is it. Uh, it's easy. Just uh, follow the instruction and you will get it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.